anyone who has played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will know that Link in that game is incredibly strong. I mean, you've pushed boulders off cliffs, carried snowballs, anything really. But have you ever actually taken the time to stop and think? Just how strong is Link? And how would he compare to proper strong athletes and the like in real life? Well today that's what we're going to try and find out. So recently I filmed a video carrying a snowball to Elden and then throwing it into Death Mountain. It was quite a long process and it took me 8 hours. During those 8 hours I had one thought that my mind kept coming back to. Just how strong is Link to be able to carry a massive snowball that far? And is it going to be bad for his health? If you can already tell, that's going to be the focus of today's video. Now before we can even go near calculating the strength needed to heave a massive ball of snow from one end of high water to the other, we need to calculate just how heavy that ball is. We can do this by rearranging the simple high school equation density equals mass divided by volume, into mass equals density times volume. Now first, to get the volume of the snowball, I need something else to compare it to. Sadly, I couldn't find anything else other than an apple that's about normal sized in-game, so this won't be as accurate as I would have hoped, but it works. Now I couldn't find much online for standard height of an apple, so I went and measured one myself, getting it to be 65 centimeters tall. I used pixel ratios between the apple and the snowball, and then got the snowball to be about 55.5 centimeters tall, being just about over half a meter. It seems to match up. Assuming the snowball is roughly a sphere, I used the height to calculate the volume of the snowball. I got it to be just over 89,500 centimeters cubed. Now that I have the volume, all I need to get the mass is the density. I know Wikipedia isn't the best of sources, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I'm going based on the data from Wikipedia here. That snow density is 0.1 grams per centimeter cubed to 0.8 grams per centimeter cubed, depending on the snow. Now this variety in density is something important that you'll want to bear in mind for later in the video. So keep that in your head. Now I put both the density and the volume calculated into the equation from earlier to get that the snowball has a mass from about 9 to 72 kilograms, depending on the different possible densities of the snow. Now, for those of you that don't know, mass is different to weight, and I need the weight for the calculation. To get the weight of an object, you have to multiply the mass of said object by the strength of Earth's gravity. I did this, and I got the weight to be from 88.2 newtons to 705.6 newtons. Now, before we can start using the newly calculated weight of the snowball, we need to know just how far Link travelled. So, the size of the map in Breath of the Wild is a topic that's been discussed a ton on the internet. There's been many different sizes suggested. I looked through all of them, and the most accurate one I've seen was the one calculated by the game theorists in their Breath of the Wild weather video. So, I'd recommend going and checking that out if I were you, I've put a card in the top right, but anyway, they calculated it to be about 80 square kilometers. So assuming the map's roughly square, we can compare the length travelled to the width of the map and get it to be that Link carried the snowball for approximately 35 kilometers. Now that we have both the weight of the snowball and the distance travelled, we can calculate the total energy Link used up in doing this. This can be done using the equation, work done is equal to force times distance. When substituting in the values we calculated earlier, we get that Link used from 3,087,000 to 24,696,000 joules of energy, depending on the density of the snowball. Not used to a joule unit? Well, that would be the equivalent to Link burning somewhere from 700 to 5,900 kilocalories. And that isn't even including the energy he'd normally expand from simply walking that distance. To put this into perspective, on average the human body can hold about 2000 kilocalories, and Link's quite possibly burning over double that, depending on the density of the snow. Now we know Link's snowball should be pretty dense, due to the fact that in game if you drop it down a rocky slope it won't break pretty easily, so I think it would be safe to say due to this that it's 
at least in the top half of the results in terms of density. If this is true, it means that the energy link expanded whilst carrying the snowball would exceed the energy the human body can store. Now, bearing in mind the fact that it is likely the energy expended exceeds the energy the human body can hold, we have three possible options for Link. Firstly, Link should be falling unconscious from exhaustion and getting hit on the head by a snowball. Secondly, Hylians like Link can hold more energy than regular humans. Or thirdly, a factor used in the calculations is different in Hyrule to in Earth, and thus throws it off. Personally, I believe the second option to be the most plausible. Firstly, this is due to the fact that, well, in-game Link just doesn't collapse from energy loss whilst carrying the snowball, so that kind of disregards the first one. Another option that I like is the fact that in-game Link can receive blessings from the goddess Hylia of increased stamina or health, clearly showing that Hylian strength is not comparable to a simple human's. And yeah, he could easily carry the snowball, whereas a human might not, or he could fail too massively, whereas a human could, they're just not that comparable. As for the third option, yeah, that is plausible, but I'm not going with that because, well, it kind of takes the fun out of the video, so <laughs> yeah. But for those of you interested in it, here are all of the factors that could have changed based on being in Hyrule and not Earth that would affect your calculations. Anyway, to sum up this video, we calculated that Link's able to carry a snowball with a mass of around 41kg for 35km without stopping to eat or have a break, and it's therefore likely that Hylian strength isn't comparable to regular human strength, and he's not in danger of proper exhaustion. I guess Link doesn't need to be worried about being crushed by snowballs right now, however if you ask me, he probably ought to be pretty concerned that he isn't trying to save Zelda. Okay, so it's the end of the video now. I hope you enjoyed it, this is my first video of this sort, and with proper editing software as well, so any feedback at all would be greatly appreciated if you could leave it down below in the comments. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below for more Zelda content. Hope to see you in my next video, and bye!